Right, 11 years sober uh, in five days' time, six days' time. So I've been there, done it, um, I know how it goes, and I'm still sober today, all right? So let's have a listen to what old matey boy says. Now, I don't like his channel. Um, I think the bloke's a mug. No, I'm joking, I'm joking. No, he seems like a really nice guy, um, but I don't like the channel because I find it, it's marketing. It's almost like marketed. It's just typical of YouTube these days, put it that way. He's got however many subscribers and uh, it's just all about sending you to his website, sign up to his personalised alcohol treatment plan or whatever it's called and uh, I'll, I'll give it to you for free. I'll just tell you what it's like. So listen to what he has to say. You're wondering what happens during the first zero to seven days of kicking alcohol out of your life. What can you expect in the first week of being a non-drinker? Well, today that's exactly what I'm going to be breaking down for you. I'm going to be explaining what you can expect during day zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. But most importantly, at the end of the video, I'm going to be explaining what you need to do after day seven, because that is going to be critical. What's that? Sign up to your uh, online course, mate, after day seven. Is that what it is? It's going to be critical to your... See, it's what I mean, all buzzwords and the screens. I, I hate it to you succeeding on your journey. Now, ladies and gentlemen, just before we get into the video, if you actually want my personal help stopping drinking and you want to join the Sober Clear program, where we really reframe how you view alcohol. I mean, look at it. Look, he's holding a book and like, he's, do you know what I mean? It's pathetic. I can't stand all this. And then we use coaching to really focus on improving things like health and relationships and careers and all of that kind of stuff. Please click the link in the description. You can book a call, we can actually jump on a phone call and see if working together could be a good match. So if you want more details on that, click the link in the description or head over to soberclear.com and now let's get into it. Now before I give you any kind of specific information about what happens during day zero to seven, everything lies on how you actually stop drinking alcohol. Everything depends on your approach and what mindset you're in to start this journey. So my experience during the first week of not drinking alcohol I'm not going to lie, but it was pretty easy. And the reason why is because... All right, fair enough, because uh, I'm getting a bit bored of him now. So I'll tell you what it's like the first week of uh, <laughs> of thing. It is actually quite easy. And uh, I'm quite glad he said that, to be fair. He, he, he gained a lot of credibility from me then, because I thought he was going to drown on about how hard it was. Um, the first week is actually not too bad. Um, it, it's, it's preparing for the worst first week, which is the worst, because mentally you're tortured. And mentally in your head... You yeah, you are, you feel like crap. And, uh, you know, yes, it depends how heavy you are of a drinker. If you're going to have physical withdrawals or drug user, if you're going to have physical withdrawals, then, uh, yeah, it's going to be awful. But if you're, you know, I, I just used to drink 10 cans a night. And um, because I never got on spirits, don't get me wrong, I used to do cocaine and all that. And um, that that was really hard. I was in a seriously bad state when I come off of all of that. It, so it was a bit different. If it was just alcohol... Um, I think, like, I did have a little moment once in my 15 years of alcoholism that, because uh, I, I drank from the age of 14 to 28 um, every night, every single night I drank. Um, but I think I did have a few moments of clarity where I tried giving it up for a few days. Um, so, yeah, it, mainly it's boredom. Um, the first week, uh, you know, I could put this down to really the first six months, but the first week, part of it is that you're this fresh new guy that's not drinking or girl, you know, part of it's that and you feel, you know, on top of the world and you get kind of cloud nine and people get carried away with themselves. This is when they start doing their business plan to open up an Amazon shop and, um, you know, they're going to buy a Ferrari next month and, uh, you know, they're going to get a job. Um, they're going to do this. They're going to do that. You know what I mean? You, you live on, you go f crazy with this sobriety stuff. And then obviously after a couple of weeks, it all comes crashing down that, that actually there's a big part of your life that's missing now. And, uh, you can't, you can't quite get your finger on it. And that now the depression starts kicking in and, you know, you, you start questioning your mate, you know, your mates are still out drinking. Everyone's on your case still. Um, it becomes tougher and tougher. And I think, you know, the first year really separates the men from the boys. Um, it takes a hell of a lot of willpower. Um, but let me give you some advice. Uh, the first week, um, Honestly, I've said this and I'll advocate for this for the rest of my life. For the first week and especially the first year, you drop every single mate. Every single mate, you drop them. And uh, people say, oh, it's not healthy. 
it is much healthier than being an alcoholic. That's the truth of it. It's much healthier. Um, you, you Look, I try and explain to people. A lot of people think, because I get people ringing me up sometimes, and I just say to them, mate, drop everyone. Uh, but, you know, I don't want to do that. Why? Why? Oh, well, you know, it's a bit moody, isn't it? Why, why is it moody? Are they going to, are they paying your uh, car, you know, are they paying your car bills? Are they paying your mortgage? Are they going to pick you up when you're feeling like crap in the morning? Or when you're laying there in bed all day? Are they coming around and sorting you out? Or are they just meeting you back down the pub? They're not living your life. So why are you, why are you trying to, um, you know, restrict your life based on them? And they're good to you, right? If they're, and this is my point. If they're mates, if they're mates for life, yeah, they'll wait for you for a year. Because I tell you now, I tell you, I tell people this all the time. I could walk back into the pub today. I'm 11 years sober in six days, right? I could, I could pick up the phone now. It's seven in the morning, all right? I make my videos at seven in the morning, all right? It's seven in the morning. I could pick up my phone now, ring up a mate, say, what time are you going to be down the pub? And I can guarantee you, or I wouldn't even need to ring them up. I could walk back into my old local at four o'clock today and there'd be someone in there that I could start drinking with. They're all going to be there. There's no panic. Yeah. You've got years ahead of you. So you can drop them for a year. It's not a big deal. All right. Just get over yourself. Now, just drop them. Drop everyone. And in your first week, especially, don't pick up the phone. Don't talk to anyone. You don't need to. Yeah, I, I know some people might think, oh, you know, you should speak to people if you're going to get go out and drink, blah, blah, blah. And that might work for some people. And AA, um, I was never really part of AA, but I did go and AA, they give you a sponsor and you can ring them. That's that's quite healthy because you're speaking to someone that's going to sp sp talk you down, talk you down from it. Don't ring anyone that's in the pub. Because they're going to be pissed up, right? And they're going to care what you... They're going to be pissed up. Ah, don't worry about that, mate. Just fucking come down here. Ah, fuck all that. Fucking go... Start your sobriety next week, boy. That's what I said. Start your sobriety next week. Just come down to Boozer, mate. I've got a pint here lined up for you. We're getting the toilet and do up fucking line. That's how it is. So, yeah. Um, so, let's go back to the first week. Um, yeah, it's It's hard. And I, I, it's hard in the sense that you've got to prepare for it. And I do think preparing for the first week is quite a good idea. Um, but I've, I've, I've said before, when I say prepare, prepare in this sense. Prepare for the week, your first week. And what do I mean by prepare? Okay, work out what you're going to watch. What you're going to watch on TV? What? How you're going to treat yourself? Get a load of chocolate in. Yeah, treat yourself to a a, a a takeaway every night. Yeah, make make it nice. Make it easy. But don't do it a couple of days before. Don't prepare a couple of days before. Write up a plan. Yeah, for your first week of sobriety. Write something up and. Um, and say, you know, how would you want your first week of sobriety to be? How, how do you see it, right? Write it up, put it down, and go back out drinking. Leave it for a month, okay? And then and then decide what day you're going to start on, and do not think about it from then on. So if I, so it's the 20, what's it, the 19th today. I'm going to write the plan today, and I'm going to say on the 15th of May, yeah, on the 15th of May, I'm going to give up alcohol. That's on a Monday. It's probably good to start on a Monday. It's on a Monday. Um, I'm going to give up alcohol, right? And then, uh, and then what? You know, just carry on with your normal life. Go out drinking. Have a have a good life. Don't think about it. Don't keep thinking. Ah, oh, ah, oh, the fifteenth's coming. It's going to be stressful. Don't do all that. Yeah, it's not going to be that stressful, right? It's look. Did you miss alcohol when you was ten? Yeah, or did you look forward to going home and having a nice hot dinner? That's what your life's going to be like, yeah? That's There's nothing to fear. Don't fear it, yeah? Don't be scared about something that's going to happen in two weeks' time because you ain't got a fucking lick, a pathetic little liquid. That's what it is. It's a lick. Uh, my life's going to be in tatters. What? Because of a liquid. That's what it is. It's a pathetic liquid. So get over yourself. Get over yourself. Stop being such a pussy. Yeah, oh, oh, I can't do it, oh, this and that, throwing hurdles in the way. Just accept that you're an alcoholic and get on with it. Yeah, don't keep telling everyone. The worst thing you can do is keep telling everyone how you're going to be sober one day. It's boring. Yeah, oh, I'm going to be sober. No, you're not. Shut up. Shut up and get on with it. 
That's what you need to do. Yeah, I'm not being horrible. I'm just trying to get you out of the mindset. Stop being pathetic. You are better than, than that than who you are today. You are a thousand times better. You could do anything you want. This whole world, you can fucking paint, yeah? Look, you can play piano, keys. You can make YouTube videos. You can fucking design lights. Lights. You can build lights if you want. If that's what's going to keep you out. There's millions of things in life. Don't just rely on this fucking stupid pint of beer. It's just a liquid. It's actually a poison. It's no good. You drink enough, it just kill you. Right, if I was to put, a, you know, rat's poison in your hand and go, oh, mate, you know, try some of that, you'd tell me to fuck off. So why do you get, why are you protecting alcohol? You've got a relationship with alcohol. That's what you've got, a relationship with it. And you need to, it's a, it's a bad, rela toxic relationship. So, yeah, first day, uh, just do that if that's what you want to do. But look, look, the biggest thing is just, just get over yourselves, right? If, if alcohol's become a problem, just call it a day with it. Honestly, your life would be so much better. You'd be rambling on like me, telling everyone to fucking get on with it soon enough. You, you know what I mean? After a year, make a video and come back to me and say, you know what, Mozart? Fuck, you, you told me I was an idiot and I got on with it and uh, now I'm a year sober. And, um, yeah, I don't know, like, maybe, you could, you know what I mean, you could do anything, that's what I'm trying to say, you could do anything, it, it, the whole world's at your oyster, and you're getting scared over not having a liquid for a week, do you know what I mean, it's crazy, it's crazy, I've been there, I know what it's like, your mentality, you can't help but protect it, but it's, it's mental, it's beyond mental, right, have a good one.